I imagine when candidates used to talk to their base, they didn't record it so that people who weren't in their base wouldn't say it. <laughs> so I, I find it now, you know, when you go in the primaries, people are appealing to their base and they're saying things that you literally you go, you know, the rest of the country. I don't know if you saw Mitt Romney's concession speech to CPAC. Yeah. yeah. I never heard anything like, you know, this is Mitt Romney, who, by the way, is that guy a Pixar character? Like, is that even, he looks like uh, uh, an alien pod had created him to be a president. Like, somehow it found a handsome guy and stuck an earwig into his ear, and then, like, it ate away his brain, and just, then they just moved it with a remote control on his... What did he say again? I mean, no offense by that. I know. <laughs> uh, he said that he was getting out of his campaign because in a time of war, he just couldn't tear his party apart because he felt that that would help Obama or Clinton and by doing that he would be helping surrender to terrorism and you want to sit back there and go uh, this is being televised <laughs> this is being televised to people who are not necessarily in that room who may think that's kind of offensive you're an idiot so it's like when he said his five, you know, my five sons, they're not fighting in Iraq. They're fighting to make this country great by riding around in a Winnebago with Mitt on the side of it. Jaggish. <laughs> no offense <laughs> to Mitt Romney. No, I know. What, what, what do you say about religion? There is no uh, religion without freedom, but there is no freedom without religion. What does that mean? Who the hell knows? <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Sure as hell isn't true. <laughs>